guys. Welcome back. This is By the Book, and we're your married relationship coaches. I'm Seth. I'm Sal. And today we're talking about Married at First Sight, Season 16, I guess, after Decision Day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why they did it in two parts, I don't know. But the thing we want to talk about today, I guess briefly, we'll see how long this goes on, mm-hmm. but is kind of sort of about Clint and Gina, but not really. I have more of a gripe with Nicole at this point. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I have been talking about her all season. She works on my last nerves. She is needy. Um, she's irritating. Seeing her within the relationship with Chris, I'm not mad that they said yes. I'm not surprised that they said yes to one another. Uh-huh. I'm fine if they ride off into the sunset together. Mm-hmm. All I got to say is mind your business. Like, just deal with what you have to deal with. In your own relationship and stick to that. And that is something that consistently, time and time again during this season, Nicole has been unable to do. And I feel like she is setting up some karma for herself that she's not going to like to come back and smack her in the face. Mm. So if you've seen this episode, you already know what I'm talking about. As the group gets together, kind of, I don't know if this is like their final farewell to one another or whatever the case may be, but the group gets together in their entirety, even Dominique and McKinley, mm-hmm. and um, kind of debriefs on the way that all of the decisions went. Um, Dominique has to leave. Um, and as soon as Dominique leaves, Nicole finds the time and the nerve, the audacity to ask while Clint is still present, if Gina and McKinley are willing to go on a date with each other. And she doesn't just leave it there. She's got suggestions, y'all. Like she's got, oh, well, maybe it can just be coffee and you'll see. And I would hate to see um, if there was a missed match. No, Mm ma'am. Too much. And of course they cut scene and go to Clinton, the confessional. He's completely taken off guard. And I just want to say, but before I get finished with my my rant, mm-hmm. it isn't about whether or not Clint is interested in still being with Gina. Yeah, it's the disrespect. Like know. these relationships are not over. They haven't even signed the divorce paperwork. Yeah, you know, like let it be <clears throat> finished. Let it be respectful. I don't feel like you spend eight weeks trying whatever you're trying yeah. with this person, whether it works or not, like to have the nerve to do that in front of someone's face. How would it have been if she tried to set Eris up with somebody right in front of Jasmine? I think Jasmine would have had words for her. Yeah. Like you just out of line. Yes. And to see her on the after party, which we know was filmed probably days or weeks Mm -hmm. after this happened, Mm -hmm. be non-remorseful and unapologetic about what she did and to have the nerve to sit there and say, well, Clint could have told me that he was uncomfortable with it. He should not have to do that. Mm -hmm. That was out of bounds, Nicole. And I hope that she gives the apology that she said she was going to give because she should. She should apologize to him and everybody else involved because she does too much. Hmm. I know you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> well, my wife didn't give me too much uh, more meat left on that bone uh, for me to chew on. Uh <laughs> so I just piggyback off of some of the things that she said. Yes, it was totally and utterly disrespectful for her to do that. Um, it's, it, and again, like you said, it doesn't matter if uh, Clint had feelings for uh, Gina or no. It doesn't matter if Gina had feelings for Clint or no. It's not your role. Stay in your lane. If they want to get together, let them get together under their own power and under their own means. Let them step to whoever, when they're ready to step to each other. Hey, uh, uh, he had already stepped to her. He's already in her DMs. So they don't need your help. 
You stay in, you got enough to worry about with your husband and your 18 dogs and your small apartment until y'all de 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 decide on what y'all going to move to. Nobody asked you for your help. Stay in your lane. And so that whole disrespectful thing, yes. I wish Clint would have said something. I do too. I, I really wish he would have said something to her. And in previous weeks, I wish he had said something to McKinley. Yeah. Because he's out of line too. Yes. And what he was doing was prior to decision day. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think that somebody needed to check him as well. Mm -hmm. and I just don't like the look on his face. 90% of the time, just <laughs> looking at him, I want to smack him. But now <laughs> that it's in the open, mm -hmm. what's going on, I really think he should address it. And like we were saying, there's a preview where the guys are out like walking the dogs or whatever, and mm -hmm. they get a chance to sit side by side. I hope that Clint is bold enough to say, you know, just man to man, like that was disrespectful. Exactly. And McKinley should apologize. Yeah. I'm not saying he shouldn't pursue the relationship at this point. I don't know. But he should at least apologize to Clint because that was an underhanded thing to do. And Nicole needs to sit down because I'm telling you, karma going to reach up and grab that girl. <laughs> Snatch. <laughs> Well, I think you're right. I think a Clint should say, say something. Unfortunately, a lot of men kind of get confused with the term man up and think man up either means for you to be so confrontational that you're toxic or you're, you're going to man up and you're going to pretend like nothing bothers you. But there is a middle ground. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how disrespectful you are, you mm -hmm. know, and it, it can, it can, it, it can be received or not received. But let me tell you, that was disrespectful. And I and I do think he does need to say that to uh to McKinley. And I really wish he would have said it to old girl at the table. Not old girl. Yeah. Nicole don't even have a name no, no more. No, she no, no, said it right there, you know, to her. And then looking at the after party, she's trying to defend this foolishness. You know, and tell me, oh, he couldn't care less. And even Eris, even Eris stepped up and said, mm -hmm. you know, it shouldn't have been said. He's like, Clint is fine. It's mm -hmm. not that. It's just in the moment. In the moment. Nobody expected that to be said. Everybody yeah. looked uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And I wish that there was someone there old enough or mature enough or confident enough to say so. I know if I was sitting at that table, it didn't matter who my husband was at the time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like Nicole. Yeah. Nicole. You're doing too much. Yeah. I'm going to have to tap her on her shoulder. I mean, that's what Kirsten should have done, maybe. Exactly. That's exactly. her girl. Correct your girl. Don't let her out here like this. Yeah. Because, no. Yeah, but here's the thing. Just like you kind of alluded to, she was willing to spare uh, Dominique's feelings because she waited until Dominique left to do she it. She had some excuse about that on the after party as well. Like... She, and then she said she called her immediately afterwards and told her mm -hmm. what happened. And Dominique was fine with it. And no, it just shouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. Would Dominique been okay if she was sitting at the table and on camera and all of that at the same time? She I don't might think have so. been. She may have been. But it doesn't. Just like you said, that's mm -hmm. not her role. Mm -hmm. She was not in her lane. She was way, way over in the mm -hmm. wrong lane. Yeah. And I need her to find her way back. <laughs> Official matchmaker, not mm -mm. sit down. Like, right, you're not an expert. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. Sit <laughs> down. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm curious what you all mm -hmm. felt about that. I have nothing else to say about Nicole and Chris at all. Um, they haven't done anything that surprised me since like week two uh -huh. or three. Um, I just, Nicole continues to do too much. Yeah. And I wish she would stop. I felt like that was wholly out of line. I'm curious if you guys agree with that or not. Mm. And um, yeah, so drop your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.